Kylie with Stride here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I have not titled today's workout. I have not planned it. So I'm going to wing it and we shall see what happens. So here's surprises for you and surprises for me, depending on what I come up with. I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and walk to the front of our mats, leaving some space in front of our toes. If you work out with me, you might have noticed this is one of my favorite ways to start. So I start this way often. But enough with the chatter, go ahead and inhale, bring the arms all the way up, reach up and out of the hips, really separating the ribs from them, and exhale through the nose, all the way down to the ground, relax the head, relax the back here, breathe in through that nose and out through the mouth, you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Inhale up to flat back, hands to your shins, head is up and you are looking straight ahead here. Exhale down, reach for the mat here. I would like you to jump back into plank. If you cannot jump, feel free to step back. Perfect. And now I would like you to jump forwards, jump the feet out, back together and take it back out to plank. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Jump forwards, feet apart, together, and back. Perfect. Now I'd like you to do a push-up. And if you need to, feel free to go down to your knees. And then chaturanga into upward dog. So press those hands and those feet down into the mat. Chest is nice and open, shoulders are down and away from the ears. Use your arms and your core to push your body back into downward dog. Arms and legs are straight. You're driving your heels down towards the ground. No worries if they don't touch. You'll know if you're doing it right, if you feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg, especially in your calves. Lift your butt up towards the ceiling, and you can tell when you do that because you should definitely feel that stretch in your hamstrings. All right, and last thing to pay attention to here is where your head is. If it's out here past your hands, that means your back is too horizontal, so we want a nice diagonal back here, a nice angle. So to do that, to use your hands and push back. Perfect. All right, from here, I'd like you to jump forwards. Just a little jump here. And squat down. And we are going to get into crow. So, widen those fingers apart. Place both hands down on the mat here. Your legs are on the outsides of your arms. And you're going to rest the tops, not the tops. <laughs> you're going to rest the inside of your knees kind of on the top of your arms or on the tricep area. Lean forwards, come up on those toes. Lift one big toe up at a time. And if you can, lift both big toes up and hold here. Five breaths. Come out of the pose. Very nice job. All right. From here, I would like you to step back with the right foot. Left foot is forwards here, and then relax that back leg down, and lean forwards. You should feel a stretch in the right hip flexors. Five 
From here, I'd like you to bend the back leg, straighten the front leg, come up on the heel of that front foot and lean forwards. This is my absolute favorite hamstring stretch. Great, go ahead and shift forwards just a little bit so that you can switch the position of your legs. So bring that right foot forwards. And stretch out those hip flexors here. Great, go ahead and lean back again, straightening that front leg, lean forwards, and really release the tension from your hamstring. Perfect. Go ahead and come forwards just a bit so that you can come up on both feet. Feet together, slowly roll up. Take your time here. Very nice. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale down, reach for the mat. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to your shins. Exhale down, jump back into plank, jump forwards, jump out, in, and back. One more time, try to speed it up. Very nice. Push up, chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Very nice. From here, go ahead and jump forwards. Crow pose as we did before. So take your time. And once you get in, hold for five breaths. Slowly come out of the pose. Very nice job. Go ahead and step back with the right foot again. And Left leg is forwards, you're up on the toes of the back foot. Your front knee is bent, but not bent so far that it's beyond your toes. So behind the toes here, runner's pose. Fingertips barely touching the mat. Your head is up, looking straight ahead. Hold for five breaths. Great job. Go ahead and place both hands down on the mat and switch the position of your feet. Runner's pose, just like we did on the other side. Five breaths. Great job. All right, place the hands down and step forwards. Slowly roll up. And inhale all the way up. Exhale down, reach for the mat here. Inhale up to flat back. Exhale down. Jump back into plank, 
Forwards, out, in and back. One more time. Very nice. Push up, chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Okay, go ahead and jump forwards. Row pose. Again, take your time here. And if you slip out, just like you probably saw me do last time, not a big deal. Just get right back in and keep going. Come out of the pose. Great job. And from here, take that right leg back. And we are going to get into crescent pose. So our legs are just the same as they were in runner's pose, but you're going to bring the body up. Front knee still bent behind those toes. Squeeze the glutes, especially the right side, to help keep the back leg straight. Bring the arms up, bring them close to those ears, and hold here. Five breaths. Perfect. Relax those arms down, placing your hands onto the mat, and switch the position of your feet. And complete crescent pose on the right side. Relax those arms down, place the hands on the mat, Step forwards with the back foot and slowly roll up. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale through the mouth, reach all the way down here. Inhale, up to flat back. Exhale down. Jump back into plank. Okay, so jump forwards, out, in, and back two times. Very nice job. Push up, chaturanga into upward dog. Down dog. Awesome job. All right, go ahead and jump forwards. Squat down here. Crow pose.
relax the arms down, hands on the mat, switch the position of your feet, turn the back foot sideways, warrior one, Relax the arms down, place them on the mat, step forwards with that back foot, and slowly roll up. All right, inhale those arms up towards the ceiling, and exhale down, reach for the mat. Inhale up to flat back. Exhale down, jump back into plank. Remember, you're going to jump forwards, out, in, and back. Two times. Very nice job. Push up, chaturanga into upward dog. Five breaths here. Down dog. Again, hold for five breaths. Go ahead and jump forwards. Squat and crow pose. Relax the arms down, place both hands onto the mat, and switch the position of your feet. Remember to turn that back foot sideways, and come up into warrior two. Gaze towards that right hand. Relax the arms down. Go ahead and place your hands down on the mat and step forwards with the back foot. Slowly roll up. Very nice. Again, go ahead and inhale. Bring those arms up. Exhale down. Inhale, up to flat back. Exhale, down. Jump back into plank. And I want you to open your feet, so spread them apart a little bit. You're in a plank position, core is tight, back is flat, your glutes are not up here. They're nice and low. And you're going to bring the right hand, touch the left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. Continue to alternate. Warrior 
One more on each side. Very nice. Go ahead and come onto your knees here. And stand up on your knees. That's kind of what I like to call this. And we are going to get into Campbell's Pose. So, you have several options. You can start here, placing your hands on your lower back. From here, you're simply going to open up the chest and arch the back. Okay, if that's doable for you, but you feel like you can do a little bit more, then feel free to place your hands lower on your butt, lower on your legs, pick a, a level that works for you. And then if you can go even lower, you can place your hands on your legs. You can bring the heels higher by putting your toes on the mat and placing your hands on your ankles. Or you can leave those feet flat and place your hands on your ankles. Okay, let's hold this for 10 breaths. Very, very nice. All right, go ahead and slowly sit up. Take your time here. All right, so next, I would like you to get onto your stomach. And we're going to get into locust pose. So bring those arms by your sides here. Go ahead and bring the legs together because as we go up, I would like you to do your best to keep the knees together because it really engages those inner thighs. Okay, so lift up, arms are up as well. Hold here, 10 breaths.
relax down and just breathe deeply here. All right, now we are going to get up into bow pose. So, or I say get up. Now we're going to get into bow pose. Kind of up, if you think about it. <laughs> Anyhow, go ahead and bend the knees, bend those legs. Grab the tops of your feet. Some of you may only, to, may only be able to go right here because of super tight quads. And if that's the case, that's okay. You will definitely benefit from this. It will stretch out those quads as well as your spine. So, no worries, but if you are able to, I would like you to lift the legs and the chest up and hold here, 10 breaths. Relax out of the pose. A few deep breaths here. All right, we are going to get into Cobra. So I'd like you to bring your hands right next to your lower ribs and you're going to push up bring those shoulders down what I want you to focus on this is not upward dog so your hips stay right up against the mat okay if we bring them up that's upward dog it's not what we want here okay so it's actually a lot of work on your arms right here to keep the hips down on the ground yet keep the chest up. So elbows are bent here, 10 breaths. Relax out of the pose. Oh my goodness. I don't practice that one enough. It is quite difficult for me. I hope you enjoyed it or thought it was at least beneficial for you. All right, so now I would like you to roll over onto your back. We are going to get into just a regular bridge here. So you're gonna bring the glutes up by squeezing them. Go ahead and clasp your hands together underneath your back. Roll your shoulders underneath your back. So we've got a nice open chest here. Hold here, 10 breaths. Relax down into the mat. Very, very nice job. All right, let's go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. Bring the right leg up. Try to keep it straight here. Grab it and pull it towards you. You should feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. And you can alternate pointing and flexing the foot, or you can just have a neutral foot. Okay, whatever feels best to you. Relax the leg down and bring the left leg up. Same thing here.
Be your knees strong, relax the leg down. Go ahead and bring your outer right ankle to the left knee. Relax your right hip before grabbing either your hamstring or if you're a bit more flexible, your shin and pulling the legs in towards your chest. This is my favorite hip stretch. It really opens up the outside of the hip. Very nice. All right, go ahead and switch sides. So we're gonna bring that outer left ankle to the right knee and relax our left hip this time. Again, grab either the hamstring or your shin, pull those legs in, hold here. Great job. Go ahead and release the stretch. I would like you to bring the bottoms of your feet together here and the knees are just kind of going to relax down towards the ground. You can bring the feet in a little bit closer to the butt and actually bring those arms up over your head here and hold here. Very nice. All right, go ahead and bring the arms back by your sides here and lengthen out the legs. Now we're gonna move the arms again. Go ahead and make a T with them. Bring that right leg up, bend at the knee, cross over to the right side of your body, but I'd like you to gaze, I'm sorry, to the left side of your body. I would like you to gaze towards your right hand here. You should feel a nice stretch in the back and especially right here in the shoulder and chest area. Very nice job. Go ahead and switch to the other side. So lengthen out that right leg. Bring the left leg over to the right side. Gaze back towards your left hand. Hold here. Very nice. Come back to center here. Bring the knees in. Grab onto them and either rock gently from side to side or roll in a circle. You may feel a nice massage on the lower back. Excuse me for yawning. All right, perfect. You can go ahead and sit up whenever you're ready. Just make sure you take your time. Don't get dizzy here. All right, so that is the end of today's routine and it is still yet to be named. It was a bit intense on the arms, you might have noticed, but that is because I decided I really need to work my arms. It's one of my least favorite things to work and when I do, I feel a lot better and I feel a lot stronger. Like push-ups during yoga sequences used to be no big deal for me. But, like I said, one of my least favorite things to work, so I tend to avoid them, and you probably noticed, or if you didn't, I'm going to tell you now, so <laughs> you will know. Um, yeah, it's really hard for me to do a push-up now. It's kind of embarrassing, but that's what happens when you don't work on something. So, if you are good at something and you want to stay good at something, obviously you need to at least do it every once in a while. So... I hope you enjoyed today's routine. I have been quite the chatterbox. Um, if that was not your cup of tea, I'm sorry about that. Just look for the next video. 
And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, guys.